right, man. I presume it is about time to go and feed the fish. I'm pretty sure they're in there. They're ready to eat. They've had enough time. This is what, day three? And they've had no food yet, so we're gonna go in here and see if they uh, receive the food. I'm pretty sure that they will, but it's still a chance that they won't. It's still a chance that they won't, so. Cut these lights on. All right, here they go. Let's check them out. Everyone's still doing pretty good. Nothing to be concerned about. Now let's check the feed. We have it right here. Eat some of this feed here. Let's see what this is. So the feed that I have for them, uh, that uh, the breeder gave me, it has 50% protein in it. Now, this feed here, these are small pellets. These are for a small, a, a slightly smaller size fish than this. These fish should be getting a smaller amount of protein than this, maybe somewhere between like, maybe about 42%, uh, 35 to 42%, somewhere around there. Um, and the pellets should be uh, a little bit larger than this. So I'm gonna feed them, I'm gonna feed them these for a few more days and then I'm gonna wean them off and get them on the other pellets. I have some more food already in here. So I'm gonna do that and uh, get them prepared and get them going right. Just gonna take a small amount, small few pinches. And let's see what they do. There we go. There we go. Let's go, let's get it, let's get it. All right, so they're in the back eating, okay. Okay, so they, you know, they're eating a slight bit. Not to the full potential, obviously, so it's just still gonna take a little bit more adjusting. Um, and this is normal, I expect it, so uh, we'll try again a little later on and see what happens. But for now, it's time to finish, boom, putting the rest of these tanks up here. That's what we have to do. And um, yeah, that'll be it right there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Back out here to cleaning these tanks out. I still got many, many tanks to clean out and so I can set up the fingerlings and get that, get that whole entire nursery set up. So I'm super pumped for that. I'm ready to jump on that right now and, and go crazy. I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Okay, so I went ahead and put some spray paint on these bricks so I can give it a little bit of flavor in here. It was looking a bit boring, man, with the bricks, man. Check it out, man. We got some flavor in here now. Boom, so it's looking really good, man. I'm liking the way this is looking, man. I don't wanna see any haters, man. Don't be trying to copy my style, man. Don't be trying to copy, no, matter of fact, you should be trying to copy the aquaponics guy. You should be trying to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead now, go and grab these fish tanks and place them on top of the, um, on top of the bricks and on the, uh, the lumber. So let me get to that right now. You know, this is gonna be pretty heavy, so I have to go from way over there. I have to carry them from over there and bring them over here. So, getting ready to get my exercise on right now. Here we go.
Boy, was that tiring. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was super tiring, man. You can see the head shining. Look at that, man, the forehead shining. That's crazy, man, but nonetheless, look at it, man. We're in there. Look at that. Look at that. You understand me? Look at that. Woo! Come on. Still gotta clean them up, man. Got all this dirt and stuff on there, grass stuff. Go ahead and clean that off, man. Come on, man. This is what I'm talking about. This fingerling nursery uh, production staging here, stays in here is going to be fire. Absolute fire. I just can't believe it. Woo! Come on. Uh, it's finally here. You, it's finally here. You understand? It is here. The endurance filter is here. Preventing you from becoming a, preventing me from becoming a biscuit headed grower. Woo! Come on, man. Hyped, pumped, ecstatic, ready. Can't hold myself, can't contain it. This is it. Woo! I mean, I can't even believe it right now. You know what the heck we got right now? Boom. This is an endurance B filter. Endurance B filter. Woo! It's finally here. The aquaponic guy is pumped. I'm about to uh, backflip, man. Uh, backflip. Man, it's here. Dude, I've been waiting for this thing, man. I'm pumped, man. I'm walking around, man. I'm feeling it right now. Woo! I got a lot of things to do right now, so I can't really put it together and um, and put this hook the system up right now. I still have other things I have to do um, inside, um, other administrative stuff. But woo, man, I'm pumped right now, man. I wish it would have came maybe about two or three days earlier. Then I would have been able to hook up the system. But I have to wait. But the only thing we can do right now is. I can give a sneak peek. I can give a sneak peek of this, and um, we can open it up and find out what the heck is in here, man. You can feel the power. I know you can feel, you just seen the little green thing poking up, and you can feel the power, because I can feel the power. Ah, wait. Come on, man. It's looking cleaner than ever. Look at it. Heck out of the way, man. Man, it is super clean. Super clean. Now, this filter here, it's a poly geyser, um, this is endurance filter. This one here, the reason why I'm so pumped about it is because this one is automatic. This one is automatic. It does all the bag washing automatically. So that is crazy to me, man. It's super, super pumped. I'm pumped about this, man. This filter here is gonna go right over there. Somewhere over there. That's where it's gonna go. Somewhere right the heck over there. So we can move this right now. So this is set up here. It's most likely gonna stay somewhere right around here. Um, I don't have time to work on it right now. I just don't have the time. I have other things that I need to do. But I just wanted to whip it out, man. I was too excited to not go ahead and share it with you guys, man. This is crazy. So, we'll get to building it very soon. Probably need a few more days before I come back out here and finish this. But, man, when I get back on this, man, I'm going to be ready to put it together. So, man, it's crazy.